In this episode, I'll be reviewing the Helios 44-2 58mm F2. Yeah, so once again, I'm shooting this portion of the video at home. I mean, I was on a weekend vacation and I didn't want to spend hours in a hotel room filming and going through videos. So yeah. But enough about me. Let's talk about the Helios 44-2. It was released in 1958 for the M42 screw mount. And according to Wikipedia, it is a Soviet copy of the Carl Zeiss Biotar 58mm F2. The build quality is very good. The entire body is made out of metal. The focus ring is smooth and it has a preset aperture ring. What is a preset aperture ring? Well, it basically allows you to limit how small you want the aperture to be. This is so that you can quickly toggle between a wide open aperture and the aperture of your choice. Essentially, presetting it. It's pretty smart to me. And in case you're wondering why do we even need this feature? Well, it's for older DSLRs with optical viewfinders. Having a wider aperture gives you a brighter image in the viewfinder. And once you're ready to take the shot, take the shot. You can quickly and easily stop it down to the aperture of your setting. Design-wise, well, let's just say this lens isn't going to win any beauty contests. But even though it's not the prettiest lens out there, it sure can take one heck of a beating. I've actually dropped this lens by accident a few times. And it still works fine. In indestructible. Indestructible. Now, how often can you make such a statement about a lens? But build quality is one thing. What about image quality? Well, here are some test footage that I shot while I was on Batam Island. For this review, I'll be adapting this lens with a M42 screw mount to Canon EF adapter and mounting it on my GH5 with the Metabones Speed Booster XL. As usual, I'm going to start with the bokeh. And for an F2 lens, the bokeh is pretty smooth. More smoother than some f1.4 lenses of similar focal length. Sharpness is a little soft wide open, but then again, most of these vintage lenses are never sharp wide open. The vintage rendering is nice. Not too overpowering like the Super Takuma 50mm f1.4 I reviewed earlier. Overall, I love it. Flaring is a bit of a problem, but I've got to be honest, I've seen a lot worse. This is actually not that bad. Now let's take a look at how sharp this lens can really get when stopped down. As mentioned earlier, wide open, this lens is a little soft. But stop it down just one stop and it sharpens up significantly. I personally think that this lens performs its best between f4 and f5.6. Beyond f8, things start to get a little bit soft due to diffraction. On the GH5, this lens only suffers from a bit of vignetting, and it's mostly gone once you stop it down a stop or two. So in conclusion, the Helios 44-2 
is a very decent lens. I love the vintage look it produces, but sadly, its sharpness is only average. But hey, at least it doesn't break easily when you drop it. And this lens is very affordable. I got mine for just under 70 US dollars. For that price, I guess I can't really complain. So what do you think about the Helios 44-2? Is it good? Is it bad? Have you used it? Let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, see ya! So the Helios 44-2 is also famous for its swirly bokeh. Now I can achieve this swirly bokeh on a full frame camera, but for some reason, I'm unable to achieve it on the GH5. 